it works. Great. Sounds you... good. Uh, but I didn't say if it's recording on the cloud or recording on my computer. Yeah, I think it should be on your computer because this one is the breakout room. Yeah, so yeah. It doesn't... sounds good. Yeah, but uh, let's try to take screenshots anyway because sometimes it's not reliable. And I, I yeah. yeah, not entirely 100% reliable. Okay, where were we? Okay, my screen. Come on. My screen is flashing. Hey. Oh, what's happening here? Why is it not Aubrey's drawing? Okay, we'll get back. Yeah, good. So those are the lines on the ground. Okay, so this is green, so it needs to, oopsies. Don't move. Don't move. Okay, so original line, that doesn't change. That do not change. Yeah, let's let's get from one to another. This don't change. That don't change. That one doesn't drop. Yeah, this one. Yeah, there is still some error in this area where things are not connected to the correct contour. But we'll come back to that. And go back to green. So that's continuing. That's on the green area. That needs to be there. Um, these ones, there's the tiny little bit on the part uh, on the drop off. Uh, so that one will actually continue along the curve, and this goes there. Okay. So these are the green ones that doesn't change. I don't see. Yeah. Uh, okay. There is some. Issue with the swell here as well. We'll need to come back to those for some corrections. Okay. So now you have all the green lines that's on the plaza or on a screen uh, a uh, in a uh, green area. So they don't change. What's changed is the ones that it's in the plaza in the in the parking lot. Sorry, in the parking lot or in the drop off. So yes, these lines, they changed. And that one is actually again green. Red ones. Okay, that one changed, that one changed, changed. Well, that actually needs to be here. So if we do a strict, um, didn't show. Yeah, if we do that, that needs to be turned right there. Okay, and probably have something like this. Okay. Now we have marked out the ones that have been changed. We're missing some here. So that one needs to go like that. Don't cross that one, but it needs to be halfway there. Um, and then originally there was, okay, we have to kind of have to change the contours, the original contours here to make it work for that area. Uh, this is 50, so that one, sorry, it's somewhere here. And this one was, oops. 
Uh, it's getting too steep. Huh. Eraser. String. Boop. Um, that, that distance still seems a bit too big, so we kind of have to check the distances here to make sure that that's actually going to work. Need to make sure that this is 50 feet and that's 50 feet. Okay, so let's get rid of that. Now, if that's the case, <clears throat> now we just need to connect the red with the green, right? So we'll start with the parking lot on the north side. I'm just gonna use red to connect them. Now, um, you are connecting it correctly, yes, in the correct direction. Uh, if this is six, huh. if this is six, then that is 6.5 on the curb, so that's six here, right? So actually backwards. It should be six, six point five, and that's seven. Oh, sorry. No, that's not six. That's eight. I'm sorry. It's very small, so I wasn't able to see correctly. So if this is eight, we know the top of the curb here would be eight point five. So the bottom of the curb would be eight. So you should connect like this, right? So this is your eight. And we'll do this for the same part where your green, it's actually here. So it needs to connect. Like this, this is a closed contour. And that one goes here, go back there. So that's the seven. That's your closed contour of another seven. And then there's another six. And this is nine. We'll have to go around to find out where that's a close uh, the other direction. One then getting a little confused about this one. Where does it go? Is your green here? Yeah, oh, <laughs> yeah, the red is here. Sorry. That's nine. That's ten. Just to go back here. And this one goes like this. That one, that one. Now we kind of have to adjust the 12 to make it work. Yeah, your 12 was originally conflicting with the 13 and everything. So that has to come down here. And then, you know, it's, you're running out of space on this end. So it needs to actually come up early, and then come back like this. And then connect back to the 12 after you have kind of corrected the spacing here by cutting off 13. Does that make sense? Yeah, I have a question for where you fix the purple um, contour at the bottom of the drop-off. 
Okay. Would a green contour go through there? Because I was, that's why I left it blank because I wasn't sure. Because I knew the, the original contour is wrong. Um, so okay. what a... Uh, uh, we probably should go through this uh, plaza area first and because I'm going to move the screen and then all the contours will shift. Okay. So, yeah, let's try to finish that part. Okay, um, sounds good. I think we had eight figured out. We had nine corrected. And we do we have anything? Yeah, we're missing another one in this area that one mm -hmm. that one is going to be something like so you need to offset that one by 50 not not that one imagine there is a 25 over here yes so you would offset this one by 25 that one by 25 so then that one should go right there and it's going to be a closed contour of, of that shape and then going around like that. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that's your other, that's your, that's your eight. Okay. Your other eight, yes. Um, we had eight, nine, yeah, all the others were fixed. Okay, cool. So now I am going to clear this so we can return to the, the south side close to the vegetation. Okay, I clear. So we, we talked about this area being not steep enough, right? You need to kind of do 50 feet away from these two lines. Uh, although I know these are old contour lines, but your, this is nine, your eight needs to be going to this area closer to your original contours. That one can go like this and eight needs to attach back to somewhere here. So your 13, make sure you cut it off, um, but still maintain five feet away from the 14 there. And that's your 11, that's your 12. Your 12 then can attach to here. Again, maintaining that five foot difference, then getting to your 12. Uh, again, this is before you dropped the driveway. So 12 is over here kind of connect back to that 12. Uh, 13 remains somewhere there. And then you kind of have to offset by five by doing this, connecting to your 11 and your 10 be there. So it feels like you're running out of space, but we didn't measure. So make sure you were able to be able to squeeze it in and maintain a five foot difference between each contour. So does that make sense? Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Okay. Okay, thank so, you so much. Sounds good. Um, again, these contour needs to be turned to make sure you have no water draining to your wall. Um, yeah, that's it. Well, okay. let me scroll up. Let me scroll up and see if if these contours are Correct on the north side. Yeah, you still need to keep pushing these contours because you can see your 1106 still conflicting with your 5, 4, 3. You know, feels like you have, have to kind of at least get to this one to be able to go back to original grade. Okay, I'll, I'll fix that then. Okay, sounds good. Thank you again. Alrighty, you're welcome. Um, let's take a look at... see oh. next one should be joey joey are you here i'm here okay let's see if you, i have your drawing a little bit here click that one okay so we have yeah i think uh the middle part not uh, correct here. So again, these should stay the same. 
and that one out of the car. Okay, what's going on in this area? I think we had a shift of the one. We have this. Okay, keep going like this. Um, trying to get oriented here. So originally. Oh, I see what I did. Oh, yes, there is something that's off. Yeah, I see what I did. I see I shifted the the upper ones and then I forgot to and then I forgot to keep the the middle area the same. I see exactly yeah. what I did. So this is need these yeah. need to be staying the same. That is correct. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, I think there is. Hmm. That's correct. Yeah. That is correct. Those are all good, but I'm not sure about that one. Probably wrong. Um. Have to take a look at what numbers they are. So this is the 11, 12, 13 can stay here. That's 13, right? That is 13. It's hard for me to see because uh, the hierarchy wasn't shown. But yeah, that I, was I think that's, yeah, that's 13. Yeah, that's 13. I'm trying to take a yeah, these needs to stay. Oh, green, please. That needs to stay there. And then, then we're, I think we're all, we should be good here, there, that one, that one, um, this one, that one, yes, and that one. I am trying to look for your original contours. Let me use a black thing. So original contours are doing this. There's something that uh, that's going on here that's not. We're missing. Yeah, we're missing a contour up here, I think. So. Mm, your original contour are where was the original contour for the swale? Is it here? Is it something like this? Yeah, it's about where you have drawn. So in if that's the case, that portion should main, remain the same because it's on the curb and I am trying to look for where the original this one goes so these should not be changed those should all stay where they were does that make sense yeah I gotcha yeah, yeah so so this is the original line there I wish we had a gray um, so then we can make it easier to see. But I, I do need to see the original contour over here to be able to critique this part. Um, it feels like it should go something like this. And then, no, not that one. It feels like it's a, that's about the right distance, but I'm not sure anymore. Can you uh, help me draw the, yeah. Yeah, so I think, read. I don't know if it was right, but I think the way that I had it was I, here, let's see if I can do this. 10, 9, 8. I draw on, I'm drawing in like green. Here, I'll draw in red. Yeah. Um, so I think it was like this here, actually. Um, and then the other one, um, See where it is. 
So this was the original seven. Yeah, so this one came across like this, which I don't know if yeah. it was right or not. And then the other one. Yeah, I'm trying to look for the original six contour you had. It seems it should be in this location. Distances being like this. If your yeah, if your original swell line look like that. Um nope, I'm sorry, I should not make that that one that long. It should actually be something. Yeah, the way that you had your swell um, makes me think that this is, is something like this. I don't, if you can, yeah, if you can, after this, if you can go back to your original one, then we could, I could show the principle of, you no know, working on that right now, but I think we might need to go back to your original contours to be able to know where exactly these should go. Um, but uh, essentially, you know, for these areas, we basically start to connect um, the contours like this, right? So that's how you get to that area. And this one would actually be here. And then go like this. Did I? No, sorry. See, I made a mistake again. So that one should be like this, and that like this, and then go back. And this one is a closed contour. Yeah. Um, and then that one go back like this. This, that, that. This is a closed one. And this one is a little tricky. So we need to know we need to connect like in this way then it goes back to here and go back to there so it cuts off this doesn't exist anymore it moved back to the to here these locations so yeah and then that remained the same because it's on the plaza. If this one, the seven, again, go back to here and then start wrapping. And then goes up here, which, you no, know, this portion remained the same. Uh, there is one, this contour, that one would uh, be moved back here right and then it goes around like that and then go up out to the original six like that so yeah those are how the drop-up area and your plaza area should look like so this area and that area is is the tricky tricky area yeah so i think the way i did it originally uh, on the topper part the upper part was a little different, but I think that way works a lot better anyway, so. Yeah, uh, I kind of understand why you don't want your swale to go into your drop-off, um, which makes sense. So let's take a quick look again. Okay, that's 12. Yeah, that kind of requires you to switch the center line a bit, a little earlier. So let's do, yeah, if I can clear the current version. Yep, I screenshotted it. Oh. Cool. Um, so if we do this and then we turn it sooner, then we might be better able to deal with that. So that was original, that's, that was the original contour. And we have another one. Okay, I see. Yeah, that's why we are kind of 
heavy. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, you'd have to turn your contour like this to be able to make that route. Is that the, is that the six is, contour or the five this contour? This is the five, right? Um, they may be numbered. So that's eight, that's seven. Let's say for seven. And that one goes like this, goes like that. So this this could work, uh, but you can see that you all you have you would have your center line turned, turned somewhere along the way, so that these contour, you can have a cent kind of center line, uh, turning into that direction. See. Yeah. Basically, mainly this area would be turned sooner than what you had before. Okay, uh, we had a little bit of issue in this area, and I would suggest using that one and this one to make a transition in the middle. So you use the, the one on the road to determine where things go on the outside. Does that make sense? Uh... Yeah, instead of pushing this pattern, oh, Instead of pushing this pattern forward, mm -hmm. you no, know, I stop here and I use the 13 as the original 13 and I have a gradual transition in the middle. So okay. I have the 13, the 12 and the 11 and then I find the middle point to connect out. But I do need to make sure this area is not exceeding the slope requirement for the out uh for the for the entry drive which is i, I believe 12 percent okay yeah if 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 i'm am i'm being too steep here i can actually stop at this one no i can actually stop at this one and that's my 13. that's my 13 and then i gradually just evenly spaced out 13, 12, 11, until I get to set, uh, 10. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That, that's not hard. Sounds good. Ready. Cool. Good to move forward. Yep. Thank yep. you, Wuhan. All righty. You're welcome. Let me see. Desiree, uh, you here? Hello. Okay. Hi. This is yours. Okay. Good, on the correct map. Now, don't think I connected 1107 correctly. Confusing, 11, 11. Then I have 13 dropped into the main road. I leave it as it. Your, uh, let's start from the top. Okay, we'll focus on the top and then move our way down. So you have your 1108 correct. Uh, yeah, you do have another one. So this one, okay, let's do green first. The green is going until to, ah, green is kind of conflicting with your green, so let's change to blue. So we have your 1107 going down to this area, and then it kind it, it ha it kind of have to go along the curve, right? Um, you have this portion dropped, and that portion dropped. Originally, the contours connect along this way. Give me a second. Originally, it goes like this. Um, this area, this portion is correct. I have that one is correct where you are up huh. you're up it's correct 
I'm not sure you attach it here though. Uh, once we zoom out again, we'll be able to take a look. You should go back to hit the retaining wall. And then your 106 would actually follow like this. That's my guess, um, but we can verify. And now is a matter of how I connect to the curb contours. So the first thing is that this will become a closed one. And that will go like this. Then your 107 would be correct. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So we can erase this portion. And I'm going to move this down. Yes, that's correct. Uh, um, it's confusing. Here. Yeah, some things are crossing. Okay. We got it. Yeah. You can kind of tell from these connections that they are not correct because they are not going along the curb. They should go along the curb and then climb up, right? So right now we have to kind of restore what you had before and starting from that point. Okay, so seems like your original contour goes like this and yeah, that's too thick. Let's change. Original contour goes like that and that. Yeah, okay. So I would probably not do hitting this wall over here. I actually have it hitting the wall like there. And then this contour originally goes to that area and then comes out to be here, right? Is that what? Is that close to what's happening here? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we'd have to check to see where exactly these contour land. Uh, it does make a little. It does make a little difference. You know, if part of it is inside the drop off or not. Uh, and then we had that one go like this so 50 feet apart should be this one right yeah is that the correct okay so you don't necessarily have yeah you don't necessarily have well you can go steeper once you get off the pavement so you don't necessarily have to have it go that long oh wrong button Okay, so these, um, except for, I'm gonna just check. The green one, that stays, 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 because none of them actually is in the drop-off or the parking lot. So all of these stays. And this one, get rid of that. Now, the portion that stays here would be that small portion and that goes away, right? So going upstream would be this contour become its own. And then there is a contour that should go around the curve, right? Yeah. Yeah, and this portion, this portion is correct, is going to be here, but also it needs to be a closed contour. And that one will have it correct. And so that one would be going along the curb. That one will be going along the curb. And then Yep, being its own. Do I have it correct? So the curve needs to be, uh, yeah, I'm a little 
unsure about whether this one is correct. Nope. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of kind of reflection. Uh, re reflex, I would say. Yeah, I sense that might not be correct. So yeah. So right now it it, it should be correct. Okay. Um what else? So this portion is solved. I hope. Is that, is that correct? That this portion is the uh, um hmm. Yeah, okay. So that one. That one goes like this, goes like that, and then come up and then goes like this. Okay, so that one should go that way. Cool. Any question about this part? Um, no. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah, you can see sometimes we easily got confused as well. So double checking, triple checking will be necessary. Um, all right. So let's take a look at this area. We have a, it seems like our ridge line disappeared. Hmm. Where's the, I, I know the original ridge line is there. Where did the ridge line go? Yeah, I think I heard that. So, if your original if your original uh, ridge line goes like this, then hmm. yeah, I I think that's where uh, some of the confusion happened, right? Okay, it does seem like the original if oh. This is the ridge line. If this is the ridge line, yeah. Then the original lines are here, there, here. Yeah. Okay, that one should use that to offset over here. Then you wouldn't you wouldn't have a turn somewhere. I think your ridge line got switched at some point. It feels like there is another ridge line over there. That's why you have these turning contours there. Okay. Um You have to go back to your original contours to make sure that you offset or maybe or maybe some of the confusion probably happened. I'm thinking some of the confusion may have happened during this time. That's your original contour. Uh, original ridge line somewhere there. Not sure anymore. Okay. So, but but I, I do, yeah I do feel like most of the con most of the um, the contours are connected correctly, so you know the principle. And mm -hmm. some of the confusion happened around the plaza, and with what I showed you just now about this area, um, I'm. I'm pretty confident once you go back to your original base map, you know, confirm where your, your ridge line is, you'll be able to figure this part out. You know what? If you have time in class today, try that, and then we can take another look there, okay? okay. Uh, I do feel that these area could be improved there. The 1110 seems to be you know, dragged really and then your one 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 two and three seems to be running out of space in that area, so you could you could improve this by you know starting to change one 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 zero, kind of 
in uh, toward that end. So then your one 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 eleven can take a form like this, and your twelve can be. I know we haven't adjusted for the curb, but you want to try to make sure that you have room here. So fifteen thirteen. 14, 13, that's your original 12. You may even be able to just use the 13 here to guide. You have 13 and you have 11. So if I were to change this area, I would use the 13 here and my 11 over here to just find a middle line 12 uh, and then do something like this. Uh, I know I'm not connecting to the right one yet but my 11 should be here right and then connect them back to the 11 over there so that way you will, you will be able to space the 13 12 and 11 out a bit more you could even say I want my 14 to stay here so I could move my 13 toward the middle a little bit so you have a more evenly graded roadway that make sense yeah yeah so that's your 13 your 14 can stay where it is all righty okay yeah uh, go back to your base map and uh, try to try to figure this part out if if you have uh, further questions and uh, hopefully we can we can take another look thank you all righty you're welcome Wow, this does take longer than expected, huh? And let's see, Kristen. Where? Yeah, this one is yours. Hey, Kristen, are you here? Hmm, you may have stepped out. Tyler. Yeah, Tyler, are you here? Yeah, I'm here. Hey, so you had a question about to closed contour. Yeah, uh, well, I would say yellow. it's too closed. Yeah, two eleven oh seven. That's how I would. Okay, oh, so yeah, it should be okay. Yes, both sides. Yes, yes. That's yeah, right. I probably should have done these contours in different colors. Um, it's hard to. Uh, not that's, sure. Yeah, that's that's fine. I think you're missing most of the contours in the island. So yeah. The yeah, I realized that as I was going, I, I, I just added them in. But uh, yes. yeah, I, 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 kinda, I don't know why. I, I think I just forgot to, after trimming them. To, right. Uh, yeah. yeah. Just all those will yeah. stay where yep. they were. And there's one there. Yep. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah, quite well done, I would say. Um, you know, yeah, I guess just with the near the entrance, just have one kind of. Oh. Okay, so yeah, that one. So have one going like this. That. It's hard to see. That's 10, 11, 12. Oh, yeah, we 15. have 13, I think. Yeah. yeah, so if this is 13, you would kind of do this. And the wall would be, yeah. Wait, going. so w wouldn't this, because this is, this is, this is still the original 13. I didn't, this is in the half contour. So would I still use that? So if your curve starts somewhere here, if your curve starts somewhere here, you, you still have a curve, right? For your 13, you don't, uh, you can actually start the curve after you get, um, Otherwise, if you have your curb crossing your 14, your 14 needs to be changed as well. So oh, start, oh wait, yeah, this is the 14. The I didn't, I didn't yeah. even see that. Okay, right. so, I should be move, so I should just okay, move the, the thing on the right. on the grass back a little yes. bit. So oh that's wait, 14. wait a second, isn't that going to? Hang on, I think I sh I need to move the 14 then. Like if I move the 13 back, that means it's not going to be 50 feet from the 12. It doesn't have to be. The entry drive does not have to be that that uh, flat. This, oh, okay, yeah, this slope okay. can be steep. Yeah, can be steep. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Okay, yeah, I'll just move this to the shoulder. That's her team. Right. Yeah. 
Um, I know you've been doing so it all day, but I, I was just wondering if my not meet away you would do the tracing to make sure all I did I did all the I did them not um, correctly. Um, I think most of them are correct. I don't see any glaring things. That's okay. off. Okay. Um, where is the, the yeah? Line? The ridge line goes like. I think we need to. Yeah, it's more like more yeah. clear where, where yeah. the ridge line is. Something like this. It's, yeah, it's like that kind of. Well, yeah. Right. If that's the case, then this is off. That needs to be there. Oh. Um, what is that? The... So so, this parking lot needs to be like this. That's not right. Oh. Depending on where a ridge line is. So so okay. this can you see? Trying to go back to the, is that the one hundred nine? I think I was. I think that's I, that's me trying to go back to the one hundred nine. Right. Um, that was cutting through. I think because there's a one hundred nine, on like that or something, or oh, it, would be, it would be going like that. But like, I think yeah. that would be trying to go back to that one hundred nine. But okay, so it does look like when you extend this, it actually goes to the ridge line. So I I think uh, I think this okay. uh, the part that we I drew I drew was okay. correct. Okay, yeah. yeah. Um, I don't see any other issues. Okay. Pretty good. Thank you. Sounds good. All right. Um, just checking. We have Grace. Grace, are you here? Yeah, I'm oh, here. Wait, did you? Could you? Oh, uh, okay. I forgot to take a screenshot. Okay, I can. Oh, show. um, I probably already deleted everything. Okay, that's fine. I'll just go back to the recording, I guess. Oh, here. Oh, right here. Sorry. Yeah, my bad. No worries. Okay. Okay, good. Goody. Okay. So let's take a look at this one. Yeah, so that one uh, has the same issue of not retaining the island contours. Yeah, most of the ones that are on in the green area needs to be retained. In your plaza, contours also stay the same. So if you're trying to re restore your parking lot contours, seems to be like this and then this part uh, I don't know I'm just guessing here um, there is a I think we need to stay perpendicular not perpendicular parallel uh, we're, we're still not having a swale in this plaza area I'm thinking maybe we could do the swale like this and then uh, having this contour originally go like that. This, yes, those are good. So that one would go like that. And that keep going as your swell here. Yeah, I, I think the main the major issue with this version is you don't have a swell retained. Or, or you don't have a swell in front of the plaza before, we need to add that back in. Um, and then this one actually did doing that. Now we go back and connect and, and delete the ones that are not on the parking, uh, are not kept anymore. So only this portion will stay. And now going to delete this area only retaining this little portion over there so the same thing I need to retain that portion uh, this area stays um, this one 
there's only a tiny little bit that stays. This stays. And there is another portion over here that needs to stay, right? Then you start connecting the dots. Okay. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. I, um, when I deleted them, or when I trimmed them within the parking lot, I didn't understand that I should still keep them like right. in between or in the in the center part so that makes more sense so now you start connecting the dots by doing this uh there's some ambiguity of where the pavement starts here so that needs to be clarified uh, and then we would just go up the curb so that becomes one contour and this one goes like this okay and then that one goes like that okay so I think we are pretty much finished with this part This goes back to here. Yeah. That becomes closed contour. That one would be Yeah. Yeah, everything upstream looks okay to me. This area not correct yet because we kind of have to cut this off and then connect 12 to somewhere over on this side. This is the original 12. So 12 needs to be connected to this instead of there. Now, if you connect here, then you're actually going back that way and you got rid of all the contours underneath the tree. So you attached 12 to the wrong location needs to be on the side like this okay and the 11 would go kind of to the bottom you need to find where 11 and 10 and 9 all those contours connect back to your original ones so that's six that's uh, five. Oh, if this is five actually this area needs to be going from five yeah five seems to be changed a little too much here um well we do need to fit in rain gardens over here so i'm gonna actually enlarge that part so you later on you can fit in and then five kind of have to attach here and then come back and then forming the swale like this does that make sense yeah 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 that makes sense good yeah pretty good flat space where later on you could have a connection from this dropping lead uh, bed dropping that to your water that to to a ring guard over there okay Any okay other questions um no i think i'm all set that that cleared That's up my good. question about the center, so thank you. All righty, you're welcome. So let me clear this. Okay. I have David. Hello. Hey, how are you? I uh, can't complain too much. <laughs> That's really awesome to hear. <laughs> you know, I have never um actually started a conversation without hearing or complaining myself so <laughs> this is this is good to hear okay so i see some oh not 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 flat area that looks okay and Well, 
haven't spotted a single mistake yet. That's good. Okay, the 1106 seems sketchy. But when I zoom in, uh, let's see. I think, well, I'm glad that I found something. That's your 1105. Ha! Turn, turned out. It's okay. I thought that was 1106. And. Yeah, the one 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 twelve attached to you cut everything off here, so it took a different strategy, I think, on the side. Yeah, that's okay. I do have two questions over on the right in my title block. I forget what they were, but Okay, does the entry drive work? It has a maximum. Yeah, that's fine. Just uh, any other general things you see. I don't see anything yet. Uh, well, we don't. You don't really need a swell, a second swell here. Ooh. Okay. Ah, uh, bad. Clicked on the wrong button. Don't really need a second swell over here. Mm, the swells here can be a little more pronounced. And then, yeah, let me move around a little bit. I think you really nailed the drop-in parking lot thing. So. Mm. Maybe some, yeah, this area you need to make sure it's midway between, that's a tiny little thing, midway. between 1111 and 1110. Seems like there's a, a, a similar issue on the side. Um, we'd have to double check if this is midway. Oh, okay, because if you kind of hit there. So the original contour would be something like this. So there is a little bit of connection that could be made there. Does that make sense? Yep, it does. One, yes, yeah. That's all I can see. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll need to talk a little bit more about the ramp later on because some of the water is... Um, you had some walls. Okay, you had swales. Good. And you're mostly using walls on the other side to tie those contours. Mm. Here's your one more. Hard to see some of the contours that um, have disappeared. This is 99, that's 10, and 01 disappeared. So, does that mean that all of the area is higher? Hmm. Well, we probably don't have time to take a look at closely at the ramp but uh, we should definitely talk about it it's 
it's developed more than we expected, um, but uh, there are some things I think could, could use a little change. Yeah, I did that weeks ago. Stuart told me to put a ramp in and then later said, no, don't worry about the ramp yet. So I haven't touched it in a few weeks. So Okay. Really yeah, it's, it's mostly the area in between. Uh, there's some ambiguity in terms of where some of the missing, the contours that, yeah, we lost a few contours in these areas, in that area. So, yeah, uh, until later. <laughs> cool. All right. Um, next one. We have Julia. I'm here. Hey, Julia. A question on the islands. You have it correct. Yeah, you have retained the correct contour on the islands except for one of them, which is over here. Ah, bad one. And yeah, we'll probably need to label all of them so that uh, we're, con we're, we're sure that you were connecting them in the right direction. Mm. Let me take a look at another question. So, just the one one for into driveway. Okay. So you have one one four, you have one one three. Um, but your 1113 is, okay, if we keep, <clears throat> if we keep the 13 over here, and I have my 12, oh, I think we're, we're backwards, right? Are we? Yeah, I, we could be, I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, the way that we check these is, you know, I have 1110 here, so the top of the curb would be 110.5, right? And then if I look at the 10 over 10 over here, then I know I'm off by 1 because this is only 10 and it should be 11. It's upstream from your TC equal to 1110.5. So we are off by one contour. Does that make sense? It does. Yeah, cool. Uh, so then this actually is 11111. And your 13 is over here. You could have your 12 in the middle and your 12 would connect like this. 13 connect like that. Well, it's a little strange though. Uh, that's okay. Yeah, that's okay. So 14 will go like that. All right. I'm double checking if you have more. Is that the all of the both both of the questions you had? It was because I wasn't yeah. sure if I did the parking lot the right way. And I was thinking it wasn't the right way. So the only thing, yeah, the only thing that I saw that was missing was the one in in this island. I don't think you're missing any others. Um, but yes, switch the direction. Direction of all the contours. Yeah, that's all I can see. I think, uh, oh, uh, yeah, uh, this one doesn't, shouldn't have another, another contour there. Cool. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Good work. Stephanie? Hey, Professor. Hey. Let me turn on, yeah, this one is first. A lot of rotation. Yeah, I have a few concerns. Uh, 
Yeah, I'm surprised to see lazy C. <laughs> it's like a really old, like, junk email. <laughs> it always, like, keeps tagging it. But... Yeah, so the islands are missing contours, right? Um, whatever the contour, wherever the contours were on the... Yeah, so... Hmm. We kind of have to go back to the original. So the 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 thinner line, the thinner line was mm -hmm. the original, right? Yeah. Okay. So then, then actually, is the the parking lot contours are not correct? I I offset them um twenty five, and then that one the one 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 is really confusing because it was like such a small because the my ridge line goes straight through the bottom of my parking lot. And so it kind of affects the way that the contours okay, are. Let's take a look at the ridge line here. Uh, ridge line goes like that. Uh, up, up a little more. Mm. No, like right in the middle. Like right here. There. Yeah. Okay, if that's the case, then all these contours are not offset correctly because you will be doing. Those are the uh, original. Yes. So. So at least that part needs to turn. And. Yes, you are correct that I am retaining this portion and that portion. Uh, these needs to be retained. That's correct. That needs to be retained. Mm -hmm. All those would be remaining the same. Mm -hmm. And then that portion actually now becomes here. Yeah. Right? And then this portion, I'm missing this one, that one, that, that For some reason, right? yeah, I took that as like the the concrete thing that Stuart went over around and I forgot that this is the land fire retention so it goes right through and now. that could not cross the ridge line it needs to it needs to turn because you have a ridge line there and that one oh. would stop so here. do I follow the ridge line yeah but um you do have uh, that's the original one so you don't have anything on the island here because it hit the curb. Um, How would it connect back to the one one one? You're looking for. You're actually looking for wherever. Let's see, they use a black line to do the uh, line, please, to do this, and then. That become yeah that's that that's going to stay. This is staying, mm. right? And that's staying. Yes. So this now becomes somewhere here, mm. and then so it needs to. Actually, back here. 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 Mm -hmm. It needs to wrap around here. Like this, like that. And then it uh, goes up here. Then it needs to go down again. Weird. All right, I'm having my confused moment. Give me a second. It's okay. <laughs> my confused moment over the weekend for a long time. That one. Oh, 
this one is done. That's okay. This one. Ha. <laughs> yeah, this is actually going to this direction. I'm actually trying to connect at least a little bit for this part. That needs to stay. Eleven. This is eleven. My curve goes around. Then I need to go to connect over here, but I need to connect to this part. Hmm. My brain stopped working. Ha! Found a mistake. Not a mistake. Yeah, this one actually goes back there. Huh. And there. No. Oops. Um. Stephanie, I think I think we have a conflict in this area just because our um, the folding originally mm -hmm. was um, you have your twelve actually fold all the way in, in, until like uh, black please your twelve is going originally going like this. So, oh, here. So you actually have a little 12. Yeah, I made a mistake over here. So you had a little portion. 
somewhere here that is 12. Mm, okay. So you, yeah, you have to go back until uh, this area connecting, then connecting back here. That's your, I, I yeah. I think it's because the original 12 actually actually goes like this. So you're conflicting in this area. So that line is not that correct anymore. Uh, so, so you can kind of run into some conflict of why is my 11 kind of upstream of my 12, something like that. So if we can clear up some of these, and take a look at the original. Sorry, Kristen, uh, if you're here, um, sorry for me being confused, so I haven't get back to you yet. But if this is, yeah, let me try again. If it's 13, mm. and if this is my 12, yeah, I need to raise some of those up. Oh, come on, Lisa. Let me just clear everything and then go back to the original contour. So 12 kind of does this and then connect back over here. And your 13 does this, connect back here. Your 14 goes over there. Your, your 11 goes here. Okay. And My original 12 line is here, back here. I do need to show that here. Oh, yeah. So let's erase this. I think it's because I didn't have enough, <clears throat> enough space. So I think I was told just keep the original contour and make the slope. The slope is actually then different here and then the rest of the drum. Right? Is is this yeah. correct now? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um one more time. So that is to eleven goes here. Eleven was here. Yeah. And then so haven't dropped these areas yet. So if I start dropping that area then I would have something like this and then doing that. So that's my new mm. 11. Now it makes more sense because <laughs> we had difficulty. Yeah, we had difficulty connecting the 11, right? Yeah, um, yeah. So then this is 10. So when I offset for the 11, do I offset this line though? We there's, offset there's an angle. this line. This line. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, for for this uh, this one, you would find a transition. You don't offset okay. anymore, right? You're finding the the middle ground. So if okay. I were to find twelve, my twelve will be here. If I were to find thirteen, my thirteen will be there. So in mm -hmm. the middle of these original two original contours would be would be appropriate. Mm, now, okay. now, now, now it makes sense. <laughs> Sorry for getting to, getting Thank to this you. point so long, uh, but okay. uh, now you see these. Oh, I'm not actually wanting to use eraser. So those retain. Okay. Those yeah. retain. Yeah, they stay. They stay. Uh, not that one. This stay. Right now, I'm going up like this makes sense uh, and then and then this needs to be I'm working on 12 now that's a closed one and this goes like this now it makes a lot more sense uh, okay so again that needs to is that another down here? Okay. And connect back there. That's okay. a close contour. 
now it makes sense, right? So, so this is your 12. Yes. Oh. And that one goes like this. Oh. Right? And then connecting back to your 11 over here. Then go back. Okay. Yeah. Now those two are solved. Phew. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, anything else? Well, you may you may need another one over here. You just need to check the uh, the the spacing. Yeah, I I think I did, and it was right on the curb, okay. and it didn't go to the parking lot, so I just left it. Cool. Uh, yeah, I'm just thinking if this is more than fifty. If there is more than fifty, then you have a little tiny one over here. Okay. Just. Double check if that's uh that's over fifty here. Okay. Okay. All right. Take a screenshot. Um. Thank you. Okay. And now. Yeah, I'm going to move forward to Kristen's work then. Kristen, are you here? No, let me check my chat. Oh, sorry. Abigail, um, probably skipped yours. Ah, sorry. Are you here? Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> sorry. It's okay. I didn't I realize about going to the the drive too, so I need to go back and do that. Yes, yeah. Um, I think most of these, most of these are not dropped yet, this area. Um, yeah, the only things that are dropped are the parking lot. Right, yes, yeah. So the same, the same principle, I would say, you know, all these needs to be part halfway there might be another close contour at the end and this is halfway that's halfway yes okay and then you basically connect um, I think there might be another one so if this is the middle one then there's there's going to be another one over here okay and your ridge line somewhere like this Yes. Yes. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm. I. I need to move my screen to see your question. So if you can basically uh, explain other questions, that would be great. So that I don't have to move my screen. Um. I think my first question was about the um sidewalks. Okay. Yes. Yeah. The sidewalks, uh, whenever you have a sidewalk, they keep the same. They would be the same as the green area. So those stay the same. Let me use a different color. Um, so they stay the same. They stay where they were. These are the part, the, the, the plaza one. I think your plaza does not have a let me clear this one and see where the oh okay so you have your original contour doing this then you had another contour yeah i think the swell pattern didn't come out yet is that about right we don't have a swell yet in front of the um or it got it got erased while we dropped the parking lot, maybe. Oh yeah, I think it. I yeah, think this it is just was disappeared. Yeah. Yeah. So if this is the 
center line. We still need. I'm looking at the original contour. I think it's probably a little too close to. So I'm gonna try to propose that we do something like this. Uh, no, no, that far away. Um, and then this one was the one that's the last contour and this one does this so yeah so these are the original contours and some of them would disappear like this portion this portion this portion will be moved down that area okay so just gonna clear that one and start over with this portion and that's what I drew just now and I want to give a center line here so that I know where the center line is going okay um, and for this side this portion will disappear that will continue this will stay that will stay that will stay but the yeah the one in the parking lot would be moved up so is like, it okay to have the um center line going across the parking lot and the roundabout i am sorry can you repeat that one um the like the center line you just drew it goes across the parking lot and the roundabout yes. is okay. yeah the reason being yes the reason being you don't you have limited space in this area okay yeah you could try to you know if this was earlier uh i would probably suggest that uh you move your either move your building or move the parking lot systematically or move the contour systematically to the side so that you know the swell would be in front of your building but now because it's so close if i propose something like this it's still the center line is very close to your building and we would try to avoid that so okay. that's why um, we have your center line go through your drop-off area which is okay okay yeah it does require a little bit more design uh, but uh, it's it would work okay so then um we need to keep the pink part on top of the curb to form the swell and the light purple becomes the parking lot uh, uh parking lot um contours that were dropped so this portion will become that one okay now we can try to connect the plaza contours with the parking lot contours if we're trying to do this one it goes like this right it goes like this yes uh, goes up and then goes like that and then goes to the swale there we try to erase that one uh, yeah that was the original one now next we if we connect that one we do uh, not eraser please okay and then we run along the curb here then we hit the we hit the uh the curb again but we can turn back and then connect back to this contour so that's your new seven okay and for that one for this for this side you would go you have a, a, a seven closed one in the middle going like this and then you have another one the seven essentially moved up to Oh, actually, sorry. The green is in fact going. There's a green portion there, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that one stays, right? 
So now if I connect the dots with the red line, it needs to go like this. So that's your new seven on the other side. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah, okay. All right, I think we solved the, most, the two most complicated ones. Yes, that helped a lot. Cool. And anything else that you find confusing? Um, I would pull this up instead. Okay. So that I'm not creating a little a little ridge directing the rest of the water. The whole thing would be a swale. So all the water is going into my swale that way. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, you still need to cut off your 13 over here. And then go to your 12. So so these contouring is being moved out a little bit. Right now your, your 12 is still on top of your original 13. Okay. Yeah. And um, I found that I missed a portion of the of this one over here. Yeah, that's also part of the driveway. Alrighty. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Sorry for, for skipping you. Okay, let's see. Is um, is Kristen here? Mm, probably in the main room. So let me text Stuart to find out what they're doing in the main room. Well. Folks, let's, uh, let's all return to the main room. Uh, maybe Stuart is going over some questions about the, the next lecture. So it might be beneficial to hear that. And so that is the key, is recognizing that this curve is as low but better yet lower on the back side of the curve than it is on the pavement side where you have the curb cut and that allows the water to flow in once you have the water flowing in then you can go down deeper recognizing that when this thing fills up the trick is you want it to back up and not flow over the berm it does not flow over the berm. Instead, it backs up and blocks the entryway and the rest of the water simply goes past it. So that's why we have to have spot elevations to show that there's a berm up here that is higher than the curb cut elevation. That way the water will back up to the curb cut and the rest of the water will bypass this bioretention system before the water breaches the berm and flows over the berm. So that is a very simplified, you know, five minute explanation of the three lectures. My advice is that everybody needs to do one of these and submit it to us for us to look at on Thursday. Once we have that down, and it will be pretty clear, then you have two more that you have to do because for, I think, Monday of next week, you um, have three of them that are due. Please note, Wednesday is a wellness day. We are making no required submittals on Wednesday at all. I shouldn't even have office hours, although what's funny is that for Wellness Day, we still have faculty meetings and such. But if you want to submit something Wednesday for us to look at on Thursday, that is perfectly fine. We will take all day Thursday to be going over this stuff, clarifying points in the lecture and helping anyone who's had a chance to take a stab at it. 
Does that get you Stuart. a little closer? Yes. Stuart, I'm confused. Yes. It's next Wednesday. No. Um, oh, you're right. Next Wednesday. Thank you. Hello, calendar. There's my calendar. Right. Next Wednesday. So we actually can have it due. Um, thank you very much. Um, Wuhong, I think. I don't know. Yeah. Um, yeah. Next Wednesday. Thank you, Wuhong. So my point is that we can easily um, submit something for us to look at tomorrow, submit it tomorrow, just doing one of these, and we can then review it for you on Thursday. Stuart, but yes. I'm just checking in. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I just went through my list. Um, and is that, um, yeah, it did take longer than I expected. It is took me longer too. Okay. Yeah. I had I had three missing, I think, non took mm -hmm. notes. We we critiqued them anyway. Mm -hmm. Um, but it did take longer. Um yeah. the advantage is they've got good feedback now, um, which means they can start making those revisions. And at this point, I think April first could just be an open review for anybody that wants help with either the dropping of the driving areas or if they've already done one buyer retention, we'd be happy to take a look at that as well. Yeah, that sounds good. So um, where do you want us to submit this? Non is going to create a, a new box for optional submittals. Oh, okay. And she will send out a notice for that as well. Thank you. And we're obviously at 10 tell, so if you need to go, guys, I understand. That was a uh, fun, intense day. It is. I uh, yeah, I froze on one of them, but hey, uh, I, I, thankfully, I, I did someone's backwards. <laughs> yeah. I, I raised their parking lot six inches for the whole thing before I realized. Oops. All right, um, Wuhan, I will see you at um, one o'clock along with the TAs. Any other questions for any students that are left? Um, for me, will, I will, we, will we? Okay. No, go ahead. Uh, will we eventually have, um, I guess, the buyer retention grade in like one for each spot where those boxes were in the uh, the stormwater uh, practice? Yes, you will. So what we're doing for next week is you're going to do three, and you'll look in the assignment, and it'll tell you actually which three you're supposed to be doing. And that's what the assignment is for now. And then eventually you're going to be doing all of them. Truth is, once okay. you get three of them, the rest of them just become boring. Um, I wanted to speak with both you and Wu Hong. I don't know if you can have a minute. Or okay. Do you want to do so privately? Yes, please. Okay. So we got to wait till everyone else leaves the room then. Okay. Or we open another room, Wu Hong. Which do you prefer? Uh, I don't have the option here, but we, we, we can. Unless anybody else. Okay. Nan is inviting me to my room. Would you like to join? Um, yes, but I don't have the, I can't see your room on here. I don't think yeah, Nan will assign both okay. of, all of us there. Okay, great. Thank you.